In my hands, I have 165 Thai baht, and that's around five US dollars. And today we're gonna see how much street food we can buy for two people with just this. Let's go. We're currently walking in Benchisiri Park, which is just on the road of Sukhumvit. And normally when we take this route, we smell a lot of delicious things. Some savory things, some sweet things, and some fresh drinks in there too. Now, 165 baht doesn't sound like a lot, but you'd be surprised the value for money that you can get here in Thailand when it comes to food. So let's see what we find. They were 10 baht each. Um, it's like lollipops of rice. If any of you guys know what this is called, then please let us know. I don't even know if it's uh, savory or sweet, so let's see. It's savory, a little bit salty, crispy. Mm, not my favorite thing. I like sweet things, but mm, not bad. Probably be. Nice with a dip or something. Maybe we're eating it completely wrong. Mm. Oh, it's hot. Oh, mm. wow. That's, yeah, that's salty. <laughs> I want a dip. <laughs> over itself and super oily, super greasy, super sweet. And usually you get a bit of condensed milk on top so it's like a sweet dish and I'm super excited for it. <laughs> for a banana roti, 30 baht, look at that. She put condensed milk on the top and some sugar as well. Absolutely amazing. It's super hot still, let's try a corner. Look at that. You can see the condensed milk on it, oh. Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh, that is so delicious. Oh, it somehow tastes like childhood memories, like pancakes for dinner kind of vibe. Mm. That is, that's so yummy. <laughs> right next to Christmas. Oh yeah, Merry Christmas everyone. <laughs> I haven't had roti in ages. Oh, it's just nice and crispy and sweet and tasty. The condensed milk on the top just adds to it. Mm. It's like I said, like homely and Christmassy and just lovely. And this only cost 30 baht and we still have 115 baht left. I don't know, we're probably gonna be full by the end of this. <laughs> some pineapple on the side of the road uh, and these are those miniature pineapples as well uh, we've had these before in uh, Koh Samui but they are so juicy How much really? 20 baht oh. he's spotted 
wanted some ice cream. <laughs> what flavor? Yeah. You have coconut? Yeah. Uh, no. I had to run after this guy to uh, get some ice cream. Get coconut ice cream in the tub. Some condensed milk and some peanuts as well. Can I come? Yes, you can. Coconut ice cream with condensed milk on top and peanuts. The coconut milk in this country, coconut ice cream in this country is just insanely good. Hold on. You know what would make this even better? What? Some sticky rice. Oh, yeah. You wanna try some? Yeah. Oh. It is so hot. We've been strolling down Sukhumvit Road, which is like very, 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 very long. Is it always down Sukhumvit? Yeah. Yeah, it's super long and we've been sweating. So we saw this ice cream guy <laughs> and then started sprinting. Oh. It's really tasty. Oh, that's so fresh. Mm. So we have about 65 baht left now. It's actually not that easy to find um, street food just on the side of the road. I think it used to be easier back maybe like three or four years ago. I think they've changed the rules around who can uh, just sell street food on the side of the road and you can obviously go to your uh, street food markets and night markets and stuff but right now it's about two o'clock in the afternoon so um, we're still walking down Sukhum bit so hopefully we're able to find some more um, but like, if you know where to find some of the best street food in, in Thailand or Bangkok more specifically put it in the comments and we'll try and go there as well hey, um, sugar cane. Uh, sorry, huh? Ah, okay, that's 25 baht for a sugarcane juice. Now, I've never actually tried sugarcane juice, but I see them all on the side of the road. Usually they um, put it through this machine, and um, elephants eat this a lot. So we'll see what it's like. I assume it'll be sweet. Whoa, it's like a, it's very thick, but it's like really sweet. Yeah, I think so. Maybe I'll pass out later on if I'm not meant to be thinking this. Mm. Want to try it? Yeah, please. Doesn't smell like much. Hmm, oh, it is sweet. Yeah, it is kind of thick, isn't it? I thought this was just something that they like poured into smoothies and stuff to sweeten it up. But maybe I'm crazy. Maybe you're just supposed to drink it like this. It's nice. It's tasty. I would drink it like this. Mm. Oh, I like this. Please let us know. Are you supposed to drink it like this? Any <laughs> sayu So the second to last thing we've got are these um, sausages. Now, I basically eat these sausages maybe once a week. And this is Sai Ua, which is this um, sausage that they have in Chiang Mai. And it's made with all these um, spices and uh, Thai sort of, um, what do you call them? Thai uh, herbs and spices, that's the one. And meat, obviously. So Adriana won't be eating this, but. Ah. You can see the color of the turmeric, probably, and the chili, lemongrass. It's like Thailand in one bite. <laughs> this one is really nice. I'm gonna need your help here, guys. I don't know what this one is called, but it's like... Mm. Oh. Wow. This is one of the best ones I've had, actually. Super fresh, but it's got noodles inside. Can you see that? Yeah, so this one has noodles inside and it's a little bit sour 
um, I don't know what it's called, but they come in balls like this on a stick. So if you know, then please put it in the comments. <laughs> All this was 25 baht. Whew. Super hot, which is nice because we've got the final thing that we bought. Here's one that Dylan opened earlier. Um, but oh, it's nice and cold, which is real nice. I mean, look at that. It's basically just the inside oh, of passion fruit. Mmm, that is delicious but how crazy is it that with five us dollars 165 baht we got so many things i mean we got the rice cake then we had the roti and then we had pineapple. the pineapple the ice cream the meat sticks sugar and this cane. drink and the what sugar cane. and the sugarcane juice I, that to me insane value for money but if you enjoyed this video where we ate slightly random things on the side of the road but really delicious ones then we think you'll really like the one that's on the screen right now where we went to Chinatown here in Bangkok and had some Michelin guide patango.